for this session, what we're going to be working on are drawing some pieces of furniture into the perspective. We're going to be using this plan uh, and this elevation to gain our widths and depths and our heights. And then we'll be plotting these points on our perspective grid and then creating the piece in a perspective drawing. All right, so let's start by measuring out these pieces. Um, this floor plan is in half inch scale. What we're going to do is we're going to draw this chair, uh, mainly because it's closer to you in the perspective, so it'll be easier to see for demonstration purposes. Uh, let's see, this chair is 10 feet 9 inches from this back wall, and the back corner of the chair, I think for sake of argument, we're just going to say it's about 6 inches from the back wall, just for the uh, purpose of drawing in perspective here. Um, now the chair itself. Okay, the chair is two feet two inches, it's just over two feet by two feet six inches. All right, now let's look at the height of the piece of furniture. Uh, the height of the chair, again, we're working in half inch scale. So we're at two feet, we're at about two feet four inches tall. The arms are at two feet, that works out well. Let me measure the middle of the chair. I'd say we're, we're uh, a little over two feet, four inches tall. And then again, the arms are at two feet and the seat is at, uh, it is at 18 inches for the billowing of the seat, but the very front of the seat is a little bit lower. Uh, it is about uh, 16 inches. So a little over a foot, a little under a foot and a half. I like to work in layers, so I have a clean sheet of tracing paper over my grid, and then on this piece we'll be drawing the furniture, and then what we'll do is we'll place the layer of windows over that before doing a final drawing. First chair is located 3 feet 6 inches from the back wall, 3 feet 6 inches from the back wall, and then it is about 6 inches from this wall. So it'll be uh, 3 feet 6 inches from this wall, and then six inches from this wall. So let's go ahead and find that on the floor. So what we'll do is we could just, again, we cannot use our architect scale to measure uh, because everything on the floor and the walls and the ceiling is in perspective, so it's out of scale. So what we'll do is we will count out. We wanna come over three feet, six inches. One, two, three, and then estimate the halfway mark. Now again, in a previous video, I did show you where you could, if you wanted to, you could draw diagonal lines within the grid and then you actually could carry that line down and that would give you six inches. All right, um, you don't have to be that detailed unless you really want to do that. You can also uh, uh, estimate. I'm gonna go ahead and, and delete that information. Now, we have our mark. Um, now what we want to do is come out six inches. And again, the grids in the back of this room are a little bit distorted. So we're just going to estimate six inches out and we're going to use our left vanishing point and just kind of see if we could find a nice mark right there. And we'll choose that mark. Okay, so now what we know is the chairs we're going to draw are three feet wide two feet nine inches deep. So we're going to draw the chair on the plan first. Um, make sure you use your vanishing point on the left and right to do this and I will go ahead and do that as well. You can also just align everything with the grid if you want to. Um, depends on how comfortable you are. So here's the start and we'll come over one, two, three. Okay, now two feet nine deep. I know, I could have just said three feet deep, but let's uh, be a little bit realistic here. So we have six inches in the back. So there's six. There's one, two, so we've got two six. We'll come out this way about three inches. I just kind of make a little mark there. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Line it up with your vanishing point. Okay and then go back to your other side, the other vanishing point. And now you have the base of the chair on the floor. Okay. 
We have the base of the first here drawn on the grid floor. What we're going to do just to emphasize this is we'll draw the second chair. Now the first chair was three feet six inches over from this wall. The next chair is going to be ten feet over from this wall. So let's count out. Again, you can't use an architect scale. Again, you can't use an architect scale to measure because the floor is in perspective. So you use these grid marks to count your one foot mark. So we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then it's we know the chairs are aligned. So it's going to be six inches in. So there's our first dot. And that's the only spot we have to mark on the floor for this particular chair. Uh, what we're going to do now is we know the chair is three feet wide. So we're going to use our right vanishing point. And we're going to start on that mark we created. And we're going to come over one, two, three. So there's the width of the chair. Okay. Now the chair is two feet nine inches out. We want to align it with this first chair we drew. So we'll just use that as a guide. Again, use our straight edge, align it with our vanishing point. Okay. And then we'll use the opposite vanishing point to create the two sides. Okay, so there's the base of our second chair. Uh, so now that we've zoomed in on this area, let's show you how we create a piece of furniture in perspective. We did step one and we placed the base of the piece of furniture on the floor plane. Next, we're gonna draw the object, the height of the object in perspective. To do this, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the closest wall. Okay, here's the closest wall is right here. We're going to come over to the closest wall. We're going to mark it. Now we're going to use our T square or our parallel rule and our triangle and we're going to draw a vertical line up from that mark. Now, this particular chair that we're drawing, let's go ahead and draw the seat first. Uh, the seat for this chair is going to be 14 inches from the floor. So, let's go up 14 inches. We've got 12 inches is right here. 14 inches would just be 2 inches up. So, again, you could estimate that. Now, from that mark, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line we're going to, from our vanishing point through that 14-inch line and just kind of bring it out over so it's at least above this front corner of the piece of furniture. I'm just going to draw a light line. It's just a guideline. And now we're going to go to the front corner of this piece of furniture. There we go. And connect that line. And that's the front of the seat of the piece of furniture. Now we're going to use the opposite vanishing point. And we're going to draw a line to the opposite vanishing point, at least so that visually, it's over this front corner of the piece of furniture. Now we'll come in, line this up with the bottom corner, since that's our, already been measured out onto the floor plan. And then we have the front apron of the piece of furniture. Now we're going to use our opposite vanishing point again. And we're just going to, we're going to draw a line again, so it's at least over the back corner of the piece of furniture. And then what we'll do is we don't have to draw this line because it's hidden. I'll just kind of make a dash line, but we want to know where that corner is. Then once we have that corner, we can use our right vanishing point. Okay, now we have the front, we have the back, and let's go ahead and draw this back line. All right, so now you have the base for your piece of furniture. So if this were an armchair, which it is, uh, we can go up and then we'll add our arms using the same method. If this were an armchair, which it is, we can go up using the same method and then draw in our arms, draw in the back, all, doesn't matter if it's enclosed or open, we can get the basic framework for the piece of furniture. So now what we wanna do is we wanna draw the arms of the chair. 
we're going to go back to the back wall. Uh, let's just say that the arms of the chair are up at two feet. So we'll mark two feet. We will use our vanishing point on the left hand side and then we'll lightly draw a line out again making sure it's at least above this front corner. Making sure it's at least above this front corner. Then we will use our straight or T square or parallel rule with our triangle and then we will follow this front corner up to where that arm is located. Now we can go ahead and come to the back, follow up to where that arm is located. Now we don't have to measure anything else, we will just use our straight edge and our vanishing points. I'll draw a light line on the front and while we're here, let's go ahead and draw a light line on the back. Then we will use a vertical line. So there's where that arm ends. Use our opposite vanishing point. Okay, now let's say that these arms are about four inches thick. We actually could use the floor and measure over. We know there's six, so four might be in here. Okay, and we're going to mark those on the floor because we actually can see the grid on the floor. And then starting at the seat height, carry that arm up. Carry that arm up. Got a little bit of extra line in here I want to get rid of to, just so you're not confused. Okay, now we're going to take these lines and maybe the simple club chair for now. Take these lines back to the left vanishing point. All right, um, and now here's where the back of the seat comes up. All right, so now we've got these lines in place. Um, now, some things that we need to do. Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of some of these lines for you. Okay, we're going to keep the very front line for the seat. Now, where the arm is, that would be the edge of the seat. Take this back, and we're going to kind of align it underneath that back edge of the seat. Using our vanishing points, we could draw the seat. Now, depending on how all this is connected, uh, you know, sometimes a, a piece of furniture, the cushion will come forward, give a little bit of width. Uh, there'll be a little depth here. You know, once you have this, this basic part in place, you can come in and add and sketch and uh, do quite a bit with it. Uh, so now we have the, uh, the arms are at two feet off the floor. Let's go ahead and add a back that's up a little bit taller. Uh, let's take this up to about two foot nine. Okay, so again, we'll just come forward from our vanishing point and I'll just come over the back area. So I'm going to go in to where the seat, where the arms are and up, and then I'm just going to come forward a couple of inches. So we get a little bit of room on the back and then we're going to line that up with our opposite vanishing point. And then we'll take this front corner back to the vanishing point. And there we have a very simple style chair with uh, arms and a back. Now, again, as we were talking, um, you know, if these arms are uh, maybe open in here, you can go in, add your opening, you know where your seat is, you know where the arms are, you see where the back is, you can bring it down, you can bring the seat back over. There's a lot you can do here. Um, you know, you can give this more, uh, more style. Maybe it's a period piece of furniture. You can go ahead and give it a little bit of style, uh, create a little bit of uh, a curve or some top pieces. Once you have the basic piece framed, then follow a photograph of the piece of furniture or a detail drawing of the piece of furniture and add whatever details you need to make it look believable. All right, and that's a simple method for adding furniture into a perspective.